Uh, during 2010, uh, December 2010, I was foreclosed upon uh, fraudulently uh, by Bank of America. Uh, during uh, December of 2010, I was currently going through a home modification. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there was a press release by Bank of America stating, stating that during uh, 2010, the holidays, they would not foreclose upon anyone that was uh, applying for modification or having problems at that time because they, the, they needed to find out what was going on with their, uh, I guess, the um, robo signing or something to that effect. Um, so but basically, they foreclosed on my property and I uh, uh, went to my attorney, uh, Lenore Alberts, and we filed a lawsuit. And I'm here today in support of some of the other uh, people that's joined the class action lawsuit and to, to watch and see uh, the transaction between the, uh, the attorneys and the judge and how they were ruling on this matter was very disheartening uh, to sit and watch how they can just, again, ap after Congress enacted, uh, I can't remember the, uh, the number of the, uh, of the uh, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought here, <laughs> uh, basically enacted a, uh, some, 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 some type of code that would help the homeowner, homeowners, and, and, and yet the banks are still doing what they want to do. Also, was it also Bank of America? Yes, Bank of America yeah. is, is the one that I had the problem with, as well as the uh, other lady uh, that's here in court today. And I'm so sorry. I, I'm just assuming name. that there was a lot of fraud in yes, the case. Yes. And what, what kind of illegal things did Bank of America from, do? From what I gather, for the lady that's here today, um, uh, LAPD came in and basically locked her out of her pro out of her property. And from what I can gather from my attorney, what she was saying that LAPD doesn't have that have that authority to do that. It's usually done by the marshals. Yeah, of the I believe Department. that they actually said that they wouldn't. Yes, yeah. and they said that they wouldn't do that, and they and in fact they did do that, uh, locking this lady out out of her property, and and basically would not allow her any time to get her belongings. And with, within that property is all of her documents that shows proof on how she has been treated by Bank of America, and they won't allow her to go back in there. I, I find that very disheartening and, and kind of, for a lack of a better word, uh, uh, dirty, you know, how, how they're doing. Yeah. Um, I, I think they're supposed to give a five-day notice or something. Uh, I, I, I believe it's some type of notice that she was supposed to have gotten, and her, her rights have been, in my opinion, violated. Absolutely. And, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Okay.